Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Liam from Push Square, here to bring you our review for Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. This review of the game's PlayStation 5 version was written by the excellent Sammy Barker over on the Push Square website. Make sure to check out the site for more PlayStation 5 coverage, including reviews of the system's launch games. Before we start, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, it would really help us out. Uh, too soft. He's a low energy menace. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak minded. Oh! Hey, Jonah, looking good. Very fast. Menace! A feckless, treacherous, unhinged menace. Get off. Get off. Right here. Yeah. Insomniac Games came out swinning with its first foray into the world of Marvel's iconic wall crawler, but this spin-off has even more vigour and verve than its PlayStation 4 predecessor, booting in less than 10 seconds were eager to add. With a shot of protagonist Miles Morales on the subway, the release takes no time to set out its uber cool stall. With the hero strutting down the vividly rendered suburbs of Harlem to a hit hip hop song on his headphones. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is effortlessly awesome, but it's also relatable in a way that all the best comic book stories are. In fact, it's interesting how this is very much an origin story when the Burbank-based developer was so eager to avoid that with its inaugural entry into Marvel's world. The story picks up shortly after the events of the first game, and Miles is still very much trying to find his feet as New York City's other web slinger. This is a plot about becoming Spider-Man, but as with Peter Parker in the previous adventure, Insomniac Games is eager to take you behind the mask as much as possible. This means there are lengthy missions where you'll find yourself simply interacting with friends and family as Miles. One particularly great sequence sees you dining with your nearest and dearest on Christmas Eve, as the sound of carol sinners and crunching snow can be heard outside. Glad Dad's tree survived the move. Me too. He loved that little guy. Ain't no Christmas like a Brooklyn Christmas. At the beginning of the game, the two Spider-Men are aiding with the transportation of a prisoner back to the raft, when Miles makes a mistake that leads to his escape. The developer flexes all of its technical chops during this 30 minute sequence, as you race through shopping malls, city blocks and much more. It's absolutely spectacular, and just one of many larger than life set pieces that will find you genuinely gasping at times. Shortly after this introductory mission, Peter Parker departs for Europe on a work trip with Mary Jane Watson, and thus Miles is entrusted with keeping the citizens of New York City safe in his absence. It isn't long before a gun war breaks out between two nefarious factions, Roxon, a shady pseudoscience corporation, and masked vigilantes known as the Underground. Perhaps predictably, the motives of these sparring squads are intertwined with with Miles's personal life, forcing him to make some difficult decisions as a result. There are some really great characters here, and while the plot is as pulpy as you'd expect in places, you can't help but root for Miles, who's unbelievably likeable despite his obvious self-doubts. The pacing of the story is just right, and while it's not as substantial as its predecessor, it'll still take you a good 10 hours or so to roll the credits, and that's if you only engage in light open world busy work along the way. If you're not partial to open world collectathons, then you may not be all that enamoured with this spin off, because it is much the same in terms of structure. New York City, which has been given a wintry festive facelift, is very much a playground for you to swing around in, gathering up objects like time capsules and postcards. As with the previous game, though, there are some imaginative activities here. One thread, for instance, seems sees you sampling sounds from around the city in order to make music with, and the friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man app plays host to a bunch of different narrative-driven side quests, which range from tracking down stolen toys through to searching for lost cats. Insomniac always finds a way to put a twist on established mechanics, and as such there's less repetition than you'd typically find in games of this kind. 
That said, you can guarantee that you'll be busting up bad guys at some point, and the combat gets some new wrinkles compared to the last game. The big difference between Miles and Peter is the former's Venom powers, which enable him to charge bioelectric blasts. You'll need to use these powers against certain enemies in order to break through their defences, and as you progress, you'll need to vary up your attack types in order to overcome different obstacles. The game's control scheme, already quite overwhelming, definitely stretches the number of available inputs on the DualSense controller, but it's satisfying once you find your flow. Miles actually has access to fewer gadgets than Peter, so combat is more aggressive and less ratchet and clank as a result. The stealth gameplay, however, is far superior due to the cloaking abilities of the new hero. This means that you can temporarily turn invisible, and toying with enemies who have no idea where you're going to approach them from is a lot of fun. There are some issues with the AI getting stuck in geometry that we encountered on occasion, but it's nothing too distracting. We really want to stress though that it all looks and sounds absolutely sublime on the PlayStation 5. There are two visual options available, with the primary mode providing a smooth 30 frames per second with ray tracing. It's frankly mesmerising to see the glass exteriors of New York City's skyscrapers reflecting each other as you swing by, but an alternative 60 frames per second option with ray tracing disabled looks equally impressive for entirely different reasons. It's honestly a really tough choice. Whichever specification you select though, the overall asset, quality and art direction is quite extraordinary. The original game had some meticulously detailed environments, but here, Insomniac Games' art team has really upped their game, especially in the bustling Harlem district, which has clearly been given the closest attention as it serves as the primary backdrop to the story. The soundtrack also slams, with hip-hop beats imbuing an entirely different vibe to the traditional orchestral score. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is effortlessly cool. The overall gameplay structure may prove samey for those who fail to fall in love with Insomniac Games' previous effort, but everyone else will have a blast with this generous spin-off story. Great characters, tons of activities, and some epic set-piece moments round out a must-play superhero romp. And with the developer on this kind of form, we can't wait to see more of the full-scale sequel that it's inevitably cooking up. Hey, thank you very much for watching one of our first PlayStation 5 reviews. Are you excited to finally get your hands on Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales? Let us know in those comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving us a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for everything PlayStation. Thank you, as always, for watching.